What is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here. <laughs> what? And what is up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Average Gear What's up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here. Back again with a, another quick little unboxing slash unpackaging. This one. I can't wait to get into this one, guys. Yeah, you asked for it. You got it! The best gear is the gear you have on. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. You know, as I always say, if this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to check out one of my videos. If you're a returning viewer, hey, thanks so much. Good to see you again. I hope you've been doing well. Anyway, guys, let's get into this. Recently, I posted a, a poll up on the channel, and it's still open if you want to go over there and vote, and please do let me know your thoughts. Posted up the other day, what's everybody's favorite multi-tool? And I have to say that by far, the votes so far have been for a tool called the Leatherman. The Leatherman? I, Leather, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Leatherman. Um, so I hopped on Amazon to check them out. So I, I've got one here. You guys tell me if I got the right one. Uh, we're using, as always, our little unboxing buddy, the Demco Armager 2. Guys, these are so cool. And I'll put the link for this in the description there. Hop over there and, and grab one of these. They're super cheap and really well made. Anyway, this video is not about the armature too. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. So I, I went on Amazon and I just kind of looked to see what the uh, most popular models were. And this seemed to be... Okay, that's a bigger box than I was expecting. This seemed to be a, a fairly popular model on there. And uh, so I thought I would check this one out. But it is by Leatherman, um, and that seemed to be far and away the most popular one on the poll. Um, you know, of course, my buddy Andrew Fett, he uh, has to rep for GOAT. You know, of course, he's the GOAT guru. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the GOAT multi-tool, you, you should go over and check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. This guy knows everything about Goat Tools. He's been in it since the beginning, since the Kickstarter campaign that started him. And, like, he literally is the Goat Guru. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Andrew Fett there. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, let's get into this one. This one is the... Okay, nice unboxing. It's called the... Yeah, I know, guys. It's a Leatherman. It's a Leatherman. I just like being, I don't know, just trying to be silly. Just trying to be silly. Okay, so in the box, hey, we got a nice, nice Cordura sheath. Guys, if you've ever had a Leatherman before, you know that they do usually come with very good cases. I, I will make a confession. I don't currently own a leather. Well, I can't say that now. I, I do own a Leatherman, but it's this one. I back when uh, back years and years ago in another life when I was in the military, I was a 19 Delta Cav Scout. Anybody that was in Fort Knox between 91 and 95, holler at me. Uh, but yeah, I used to carry a Leatherman Super Tool with me all the time, and I had lost mine a couple of years ago, and I just hadn't gotten another one. But I put the poll up. These seem to be the most popular ones right now. And uh, I found the sale on Amazon on the Wave Plus, and I just had to grab them. I had to grab them. Guys, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Wave Plus, but it is a super useful multi-tool. And it is a little bit stiff out of the box, but that's... If you're familiar with Leathermans, you know... Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of technical difficulty there. But I was saying that if you're familiar with Leatherman, you know that they make really, really tough products. And most of the stuff, when you get it new out of the box, it's going to be pretty stiff. It does. They take a little bit of working in. You just got to kind of work the pivots a little bit. They do come well oiled, as you can see. 
good good deal of oil there on all the pivots and everything but they're very stiff out of the box the couple that I've had that I got new I really had to kind of break them in just a little bit before using them so you know just be aware of that if you get one you know just know that uh, they are a little bit stiff out of the box but uh, yeah, so the model that we're looking at is, it's not the most expensive Leatherman that they make. That one would be the Arc, but this one is the Leatherman Wave Plus. And it looks like it's going to have an overall weight of about 8.5 ounces. The overall length is, looks like it's just shy, maybe right at 4 inches there. And... Open length is saying is 6.25 inches, so that's, that's probably the longest, I would say, measurement there. Yeah, it's about right on, with a width of 1.2 inches. So, it's coming. it has a 420HC stainless steel, and then the one that I got does have the black oxide, oxide coating. So, uh, I like the black, and I'm going for a uh, blacked out EDC look right now, so yeah that's what i decided to get this one does have uh let's see the main blade it says it's 2.9 inches and it does lock out it's got a liner here that will allow you to unlock it so that's nice uh, another cool thing about the wave is that the tools are accessible from the outside your main tools i believe i haven't gone through all the tool set on these yet but i believe most of your main tools are accessible from the outside so there we've seen main blade, file, yep, saw blade, and they do all lock out. All of them have liner locks on them too. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, and then you do it looks like you do have some smaller tools that are available on the inside here. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, complete tool set that you're gonna get with the Leatherman. Okay guys, so real quick, let's take a look at the tool set that you're going to get on the Leatherman Wave Plus. So first thing up, obviously you've got the needle nose pliers with some nice grippy ridges inside there. And you can see they're, they're good for either needle nose or for using for bolts, uh, loosening up bolts. You do have the... So you got replaceable wire cutters, so you can see that you can actually replace these. I've heard that there has been an issue with some of the older models with these breaking. The inner core here, they're saying right here, if you can see that, that's where it's for heavier wire cutting, is that inner part there. And you can see, you really can't feel it, but you can see those are making really good contact there. So hopefully that's going to work, you know, as intended. That's what you always hope anyway. So um, we'll go on this side. You do have, of course, there's a ruler that runs along the length of both ends. And if you put those together, it makes an 8-inch ruler. And then over here, you've got a nice flat flathead screwdriver or a sort of a, you know, I guess you could sort of use that as a pry if you needed to. And also on this side, let's see what else we got. Okay, yeah, you got your scissors here and another, you get another small flathead screwdriver there with that, so that'd be good for like glasses, smaller things like that. Wait a second, let me see. And I think that bit might be reversible. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it is reversible and you've got a Phillips head on the other end there, so. You could use that as a smaller Phillips or flathead screwdriver, either one. So that's really cool. Let's close those up, open the scissors up, and let you get a look at the scissors. Kind of decent size set of scissors. It sort of reminds me of what you get like on a um, Swiss Army knife, maybe. The uh, tools on the back side also will lock down with this button. So everything on this thing locks, which I do like that. You gotta have to forgive my hands. I'm picking up stuff off this thing. Uh, we're gonna do the inner tools first, and then we'll get to the outer tools. Then over on this side, you've got the can opener, bottle opener, and 
the star of the show, the bit driver. Let's see how close to center that is on the on the driver. Yeah, it does kind of come over towards the middle there a little bit, so it sort of centers out the drive. But yeah, you got a bit driver here. And of course, I don't know if you know or not, but you can get, this one's reversible, but you can also get these packs of them, and I need to order some, that has all these different kinds of bits that will fit in here, and there's a lot of carriers that you can get also um, to carry, you know, your Leatherman and the bits with it. Those are super cool. So that's it for the tools on the inside. Now on the outside, you're going to get, of course, your large blade. That is a nice looking clip point blade, 2.9 inches. I mean, it's almost, you know, that's just almost an EDC knife on its own. And some people would argue, let me know if, down in the comments if you're one of those people that would argue that, that uh, this type of multi-tool you could basically carry instead of carrying an EDC knife. This one you got the sheep's foot type of blade with the good serrations on it. So you have a t couple of different actually options of almost, you know, well, you know, you could say those are full size blades, 2.9 inch, almost a three inch blade. You have a, these do have a nice diamond file on them. Yeah, those are nice. And the other tool is the saw. So yeah, you can see with these, you're really getting a lot of a big tool set there. 18 tools is what they're saying that this has. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys have the Leatherman Wave? You get a Wave Plus. Do you have any other Leathermans? What do you think about the Wave Plus as far as in the Leatherman hierarchy? This one, to me, just seemed like the one that would work best for a full-sized you know, a full size multi tool for an ADC set. And, um, I like the tool set that it has. It doesn't have anything on it that I didn't want. Of course, there are tons of modifications that you can do to these. I mean, you, you can really, really make these just a hundred percent your own. Um, let's take a look at it next to some of the other multi tools that are out there. We got the, um, I've got a full size Gerber. These are the old, I'm going to have to look these up and put the, uh, I'll, I'll try to remember to put these in the description. It's the older style Gerbers with the big blocky head cutters on them, or blocky head pliers. Where they didn't have so much of a needle nose plier to them. Um, but those are a big full size multi-tool there. These are the Gerber MP400s, the compact sport models. Like I've said before, this is one of my favorite multi-tools. I actually have two of these have one of them that I just keep put up in a little grab bag and then these that uh, usually are somewhere near me they were in my little extended pack actually right now is where it's carrying I've carried a, a set of these or something like them since I was in the uh, military back in the 90s so I, I go way way back with Gerber but um, I have said it before and I don't know if you, if you guys missed it I used to carry a Gerber MP400 and also a full-size Leatherman. And back in the day, I was carrying a Leatherman. I think it was the Super Tool at the time. And um, I loved the Gerber because he had that flick-out ability. Uh, so you could rapidly access it. But the Leatherman was always your bigger, heavier-duty plier set. These just always had a heavier feel to them just seemed a little more capable and uh, I was on tanks and Bradley's also so you know a lot of times we would run into a situation where you needed two multi-tools uh, here's another full-size multi-tool I don't know if you guys have seen this one before this is the Ozark trail uh, multi-force is what they're called and for the price these are really hard to beat the tool set that they offer they do have almost a full-size knife on them as well these are going to cost you way, way less than a Leatherman, but of course, you, you know, you're not getting as quite as good of materials, I'd, arguably, but um, a nice big full-size multi-tool. I'll try to find a link for these down below. You can get them at Walmart. I think they normally run $49 and they come with a bit extender on them. 
And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, a little less expensive type of multi-tool, that one would be one to go with for sure. Um, we could take a look at it compared to my my up to now choice of EDC multi-tool, and that is the SOG Power Leader, not to be confused with the Power Pint. This one is a little bit different, and the Power Leader offers a couple of things over it that I think make it superior to the Power Pint. This one's a great little smaller size multi-tool that can still do a lot of bigger jobs, but I was really wanting to get something that was big and heavy duty and could sort of bridge the gap between a full size tool and something, you know, along the lines of this. So yeah, we'll just have to see how this one works out. Clear some of this stuff off. And I will give you my final thoughts. So yeah, guys, my uh, final thoughts on the Leatherman Wave Plus out of the box, I got to say I'm impressed with it. You know, when you when you research something and look it up, you kind of know what to expect when you get it. But getting it into my hands again, it, it does recall those Leathermans of, you know, way back. Just the attention to detail, the fit and finish of them, just the durability, the solid feel. It really kind of brings me back to those days. Um, so yeah, it's been a nice, uh, a pleasant reunion between myself and Mr. Letterman, I will say. But uh, yeah, like I said before, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. If you like the video, please, uh, please give me a like. It really helps, actually it helps me grow the channel. It helps me see what kind of content you guys like seeing and uh, you know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This is what we do here. We take a look at all kinds of gear, multi-tools, packs, knives, everything in between. I'm interested in it, guys. If you are a knife maker, if you are a multi-tool pry bar, if you're doing some kind of custom tools out there right now, Hit me up uh, at averagegearreview at gmail.com. We're currently looking for things to review. And I'm always, always looking for smaller companies that are on the, you know, that are up and coming. Um, you know, I think that uh, small businesses ought to help each other out. And we ought to give each other a lot of love because it, it, it's really tough out here. And um, so, you know, hit me up at averagegearreview at gmail.com. Or you can go to our website. You know, it's just averagegearreview.com and you contact us through there. But yeah, let us know if you have something cool you want us to review. Also, if you're a collector and you have a knife that uh, you just want to show off, you know, contact me, let me know. Uh, follow me, uh, follow us over on Instagram. Uh, it's at Average Gear Review on lowercase. You can follow us on Twitter at Average underscore gear. And uh, on Facebook, we're Average Gear Review on Facebook over there. If anybody still uses Facebook, um, you know, I'm older, so I still use it. But, hey, don't judge me. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it on the Leatherman Wave Plus. Super impressed with it right out of the box. I can't wait to put it to use. Pardon my dirty fingers. Like I always say, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here.
still here. Awesome. Listen, I was supposed to tell you something really important, and I have to tell you this. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the content, subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button. Please, I'm stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please, you got to let me out here. Just hit the subscribe button. Did you hit it? Did you hit the... Did you hit... It's right down here. Did you hit it? I don't know. I'm still here. Hello? Hello? Did you... Did you hit the subscribe button? Look, listen. I'm literally stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Yes, very soon. Listen, please hit the subscribe button. You did? You did hit it? Are you sure you hit it? Let's try it again. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's wrong. Please, please help me. It's not...